Mazda. Welcome back to New Jersey and the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. Nick Evans in the lead car, the 28th. Michael Cooper right behind him in second. Take a look at what happened one lap ago. This is the 29 of David Walker, the PaveCon machine. Uh, goes around, locks him up, doesn't hit anything. Uh, that same lap, one lap ago, Walker would go off through the grass. And David Walker, uh, not a kid. He's been racing a bit, uh, kind of getting his feet wet in this series as well. It's been a struggle for him this year. Well, you know, it's, it's, uh, it is a tough series. We've even actually seen pros come into this series. that uh, Danny Sullivan. Danny Sullivan. And they, they didn't go to the front. It was yeah. a struggle for him because the cars are not that easy to drive, especially if you've been driving high downforce cars and things like that. But, um, you know, these guys have to be precise because if you go into a corner, slide a little bit too much, get the car sideways. And I think that's why you see them go off the road because if they, if they try and tighten it up and, and get the uh, momentum off the car to keep it from going, they'll lose lose more down the street than if they run off the road a little bit. So they would rather go into the dirt than they would uh, keep it on the road and uh, scrub some speed off. Third, fourth, and fifth here. Sixth, seventh, and eighth is this battle. Dean Copeland, Aaron Malkasia in there. And back a little further, the 14th car, Mark Carpenter. Uh, these guys have really been putting on a great show. Now this is coming to the final few corners of a lap here at New Jersey Motorsports Park at the Thunderbolt course. Rampelberg right there in third. Two leaders, Cooper and Evans. They continue to work together to pull away. It's been interesting to watch as they come off turn 14, come to the front stretch. Cooper kind of measuring Evans to see what he needs to do as we get down to the end of this. Yeah, but you know, he's doing a good job anyway because the fact is is that he pulled out to the side there, didn't pass, but you know what he did do is put air through the radiator. Yeah. So that's going to keep his car cool enough right. so that it won't overheat because these uh, engines being a stock motor, if the engine gets too hot, it backs down the timing a little bit and cuts out the horsepower to save the engine. So if he keeps pulling out like that, instead of staying behind, his engine will keep that power to the end of the race. All right, uh, the 28 car, Evans, really impressed with the job he's in. We've watched him over the first few races, kind of struggle, he's been fast, but I think learning how to run one of these 45 minute races and be consistent has been the challenge. For him. Yeah, you know, it seems like he'd run up front, but somehow when uh, everybody's drafted towards the end, he would get shuffled to the wrong spot. Uh, and he's had some other problems, but you know, he, um, he's been very fast and he's showing that again this weekend by where he's qualified and where he's running. And I think that right now, he's doing a good job of just keeping it online and doing everything he has to keep up front. And I think Cooper is also using his head. See Cooper pulling out of the draft again. Actually, he's looking like he's going by yeah. this time. He's, Looks like he wants to make the move to get the lead back here. Yeah, he's doing it. He pulled out really early enough to get all the way past and get up front. So he got a heck of a runoff 10 that time, which was good. So Michael Cooper takes the point back in that AMG car, the 84. And one of the interesting things to keep in mind here, if you make that draft move going into turn one, it's too late. If, it, if you do it on the last lap, it'll be after start finish. You oh, that, that is the truth. You're going to have to uh, do it the lap before, or you won't get there in time. We'll be right back. The Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup in a moment. 